iTraders. This is the Pro Traders Workshop series tutorial, and in this lesson, I'm going to just review a very simple strategy using moving average lines and MACD crossover and stochastics indicator. So everything essentially needs to line up. You need to have the body of the candle close below this 21 moving average line. This is a scalping technique. It's not intended to stay in for long term. It's just being able to capture 10, 20, even more pips, just depending where you enter a trade um, and where you exit the trade. So good example is here on Thursday with the market. Um, we had a double top on the euro dollar. And notice there are three things that are occurring here. Okay, if you're having a hard time figuring out trade signal alerts or where to enter a trade at a level that most likely will give you um, positive results, and this may be something you can you can use. So what I look for first, body of a candle closing below the moving average line. Number two, um, a crossover on MACD. That's important. Now, this is a 30-minute chart, so it's if you do this on a higher time frame, then it's it's the move will the market will move too much for uh, for an early entry. So we use a 30-minute chart. You can use a 15-minute chart, but it's just too much noise on smaller time frames. So a 30-minute chart is the the minimum um, I I would use. So the next thing um, I cross over a MACD. Uh, rather on stochastics either an overbought conditions or it, you know it doesn't matter as long as the two lines on stochastics are crossing to the downside of your selling crossing to the upside of your buying okay so all three things need to line up excuse me a second sorry about that so here this is obviously the perfect trade setup with the market rally it gave us a double top and closed below the 20 moving average line and of course, you know this. The, the idea is to try to stay in this trade for at least 20 or 30 pips because we're trading off a smaller time frame. Obviously, I would have exited at the most recent support, which is here, and that gave us, you know, about approximately 32 pips. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this trade obviously did not work out. Um, you would have taken this trade on the next candle, and you would have had to exit because there was a bearish engulfing candle. So. Uh, the trade would have been, you would have taken this trade maybe here, and if you didn't get out after about 12 pips, of course, you would have lost on this trade. Not every trade is going to work out. Everything needs to line up. This is not a high prior, uh, high percentage trade because the market was consolidating before the market took off and then just turned around and went south. Okay, so if we have uh, the best charts, best trades rather, is when the markets rally, put in their daily ranges or exceed its daily range, and then they retrace. That is probably the best trade setups. And then you can use trend lines, for example, here. You could have just, uh, for more confirmation, just added a trend line, connect the swing points, which was this swing point here to there, and the market. You know, broke below the trend line, broke below the 20 moving average line. The two lines of MACD cross to the downside, and we have a trade. Okay. Um, let's see. Again, here is a setup where the market in the early part of the Asian going into the New York, into the European session, was pretty much flat. And so we didn't have a rally till the European session. So again, um, look at the MACD indicator. We're, we need a crossover. These are great setups when the markets are consolidating and it does take a direction because it hasn't put in its daily range yet. Uh, this is a 24 hour period from this vertical this uh, vertical line to this vertical line from 5 to 5 p.m. Eastern. So we're looking for a breakout of the moving average lines uh, angling up like a 45 degree angle, but more importantly, Stochastics crossover and rather MACD crossover and stochastics crossover. And notice that the first part, let's say you woke up during a European session, notice that the Asian session, nothing was going on. So the markets want to do their daily range, and it did not happen until 
later part of the European session. Okay. So again, um, here was excellent trade setup because the markets overbought, rallied, right, then consolidated. And we're looking for a crossover MACD. We're looking for overbought and a crossover on stochastics and price to close below the moving average line. Okay. So what you can do is practice this trade setup, making sure that number one, the market's completely overbought, oversold, or the markets consolidate in a consolidation period and then it breaks out. Those are the best trade setups. When this does not work is when the moving average line is pretty much flat. So you have to wait for the market to give us direction. Like here, there's no trade to take. Okay. So what I would do is isolate the swing points, the high and the low, and just wait for a breakout here. We have the two lines finally on MACD cross to the downside and also on histogram, even though histogram is down here, we still have room to go to the downside before it hits a support level. So you would take this trade based on the trend line break here, based on price breaking below the 20 moving average line, a crossover MACD, crossover on stochastics, and I would exit this trade before or around it, the previous support of the, you know, the day before, and that would have been about, what, about 18 pips. Okay, again, I'm talking about small window of opportunity when you're not sure what the market is doing, the 20 moving average line will help, especially if it's already slanted to the downside. And, and here we have continuation pattern, continuation sell-off. And the 20 moving average line is just slanted down the entire way. So you will be looking for trades in the direction of the trend, which of course is to the downside. And there was a trade here, not quite defined on the MACD, but we're in a downtrend simply because price is below the moving average line. And then there was a well-defined trade right there with the two lines cross to the downside. Price is below, closes below the moving average line and gives us a daily range. Okay. Um, I think I took this trade on, and let me just show you. One second, let me just pull up this chart and make this a template. Okay, so that's EMA 20, and and this this is what I did on the one second. My 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 uh, platform just started to reboot on its own. Okay, so let's go to Euro Yen on the 30 minute chart, and mind you, I'm looking at this trading strategy looking at the one hour and four hour chart to give me um, confirmation okay so again same thing sorry about that okay um, I took this trade at the Beginning, I think we're, oh yes, we took this trade during the Asian session where price broke below. There were two things that happened. We had a trend line break, and that was very important. We also have the two lines of MACD cross to the downside on stochastics. And I took this trade, you know, I wasn't even up when, the, when it retraced because it had a sizable stop loss. And that was the trade. Notice again, um, and that's why this kept selling off. And I got out down here uh, at around 11 o'clock. The trade room was closed, and I exited this trade before it turned around and, and shot north. Okay, so I, that was the target at 116.50 level. Again, we're looking at 
price breaking below the moving average line. Notice how price retested the, low, the, the trend line and just bounced off and gave us an evening star. Stochastics at the time of entry was below the histogram when I took this trade here. And, and then again, it crossed over down here during the New York session and then found support and turned around and went the other way. Okay. Um, the other trade was um, Euro Aussie. And again, took the 30 minute chart. And notice that price had already broken below the 21 moving average line. And stochastics was below, or rather, MACD lines were below the histogram. And price was below. We, there were several areas, places where you could have taken a trade based on stochastic crossover to the downside. So that was the trade I took. I noticed that it broke. We had a visory indicator to sell up here. Price breaks below the 20 moving average line. My stop loss would have been about 20 pips above the moving average line. And notice this, this just kept on selling off, trying to retrace the 20 moving average line, acting as a moving Fibonacci, acting as a moving resistance level, and it just kept on bouncing off. And finally, at the end of the day, it did cross to the upside. Um, Euro odd Euro, and also there was your odd Euro New Zealand that was the other trade and we looked at that was the one that really took off I think it made about 40 29 pips on this trade that's the same scenario same thing price breaking below the 20 moving average line the two lines of MACD also crossing to the downside two lines of stochastics crossing to the downside. So when everything lines up nicely, there would be a trade. Okay, now oops, let me scroll down to the 30 minute chart because that's the time frame I used, which is the entries would be a lot earlier. So there was the crossover in MACD, crossover on Stochastics here, right there. Now, you you've realized that this trade started back here during the Asian session and continue retesting the 20 moving average line. These are the ideal places to exit a trade, not when market has already sold off. This is the place to take the trade when it comes back up to a 21 moving average line. If you take the trade where it's, it's already far away from the 21 moving average line, you're just going to get yourself caught in a steeper in a, uh, um, stop loss. Because once it gets away from the 20 moving average line, all, all it wants to do is go back to it. See how it breaks? It goes back to the 20 moving average line. Sells off, goes back to the 20 moving average line. Sells off and just goes back. So you want to take a trade as close to the... 20 moving average line as possible. We know we're in a downtrend, but you do not want to take your trade down here. You want to wait for the retracement like now. It's hitting the 21, 20 moving average line, and there's a possibility that it'll turn around. But stochastics is oversold, so it's there's not this is not a good trade setup. Okay. Um, and I think that was it. And I used this also on the Euro USD, used it on Euro Yen, Euro New Zealand, and um, I also did this on, I can't remember what pair we were trading, I think it was Aussie Yen, because Aussie Yen found support, but then it retraced. These are short-term trades. We're not looking to marry these trades, stay in it, we're just looking for short-term um, profit taking um, type trades okay okay and actually took this trade here where again 
well, the market's in a downtrend one day, two days in a downtrend, and what happens? It turns around and rallies. So take your trend line. Have several reasons to take a trade. Okay, draw your trend lines. Draw, uh, do everything. Just don't do one, rely on one thing. We have a crossover in MACD. We have stochastics oversold, which is such a good thing when it crosses, when it's oversold and everything lines up. Crossover in MACD, stochastics oversold, trend line break, price breaking above the trend line, and there's your trade. Okay. So I hope this uh, tutorial is helpful. These are great for short term 20, 30 pip trades, uh, depending on the currency pair, depending on time of day, um, several factors, but the strategy remains the same. So we're looking for a crossover on MACD, oversold or overbought conditions on stochastics and a crossover, and price breaking up above or below the 20 moving average line. Okay, thanks for watching and see everyone next week in the trade room.